Shalom Bali. Let me just turn up the volume here. Yes, it's all the way up. Mm -hmm. I, I hope you can hear me. Uh, Bali, my name is uh, Yeshua Yaakov. Um, in Hebrew, uh, we say an Achman, so we. And you're quite right about we. Um, Yoshua Yaakov from Jerusalem used to be Michael O'Donnell <laughs> from America. That's 22 years ago. I live here now. I'm an expat. And uh, st uh, still, uh, I'm not a citizen of Israel, but I'm uh, still a citizen of America. But I lived here for 22 years. Uh, the youngest of seven boys, uh, five surviving. All the first uh, six were born, uh, sorry, five, correction. All the, f the, the first five were born in Pennsylvania. Um, let me say that I resonate very strongly to your message of uh, we the people living in these rural communities, we see what's happening. And indeed, uh, Barak's message is quite on target. There is bitterness and there's uh, distress and it's, it's, it's acute. Uh, let me give one example. Uh, a guy by the name of uh, Mr. Paulson, not the, uh, uh, the Secretary of the Treasury, although he comes from the same uh, Wall Street uh, area. Uh, he, he runs a hedge fund, and uh, last year his uh, 440 uh, uh, compensation method brought him $3.7 billion of income. <laughs> Let me see. They said that that equates to, in one hour, he gets 30 times the median family's income in America. Now, if that doesn't say a whole lot about the uh, the um, the Wall Street, uh, the disparity between Wall Street and Main Street, look, th things are pretty uh, skewed and, and pretty fouled up. But let's now. That's democracy, um, and uh, we lo we love and we respect the underlying principles. And uh, those who are well organized use democracy very much to their specific uh, uh, advantage, and sometimes very great advantage, and sometimes uh, extreme advantage. Uh, okay. So uh, the rest of the, the world is pretty unorganized. And in between, there's the, the AFL-CIO, the labor, all of the unions, and they're grumbling for um, uh, you know an extra quarter an hour, an extra buck an hour and uh, for jobs. And the minute they push uh, uh, too far on wages, the pushback comes and the factories closed and the, uh, the jobs are transferred to Mexico, Bolivia, China, the moon uh, to save uh, and to put more profits in the owner's pocket. Now we know all of this, okay? Now the question really is the economy, the macroeconomy, and uh, the particularities of the uh, j uh, creation of jobs that are going to be dispersed locally in the states and the localities where people are going to uh, see results. And the promises are just uh, an empty bucket with holes in the bottom. Uh, with politicians. So let's get to what is the talkless. Oh, sorry, that's a term in Israel. It means the bottom line. Let's get to see what's what's really going to be. Okay, so I'm a didactic scientist, uh, Bonnie, uh, and uh, 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 my tax returns <laughs> for the last 20 years show zero, 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 zero. Now, I don't live in a nine-room house anymore. I uh, I had the, the ability to uh, produce pretty big incomes too, and I, I decided it was something more important to do with my life, and I decided to serve uh, the God of the cosmos and come and live in the, the place where we were really were much closer uh, than any other place I think in the on the planet. Uh, it's kind of the gateway to heaven, Jerusalem. So I did it, and I worked. Uh, and uh, after 22 years, the trilogy Omonomics turns out to be uh, an idea whose time has come. I will simply say this: the end of the um, the end of um, man and mankind's exile has been facilitated by an event globally that began in 1990. What's called the collapse of the local reality in physics. And we cannot enter and inhabit the quantum reality, which is redemption, because man and mankind is denying in general, and Israel is denying in particular. And I think maybe that has a little something to do with why uh, the God of the cosmos brought me here to help Israel to see this end that was uh, that comes from God, and for. Uh, 
uh, my work to facilitate uh, opening their eyes and ears to see it and to stop the denial. And, and when Israel ends the denial, so too uh, the world. Now, the collapse of the local reality is uh, ref uh, began in the Soviet Union in 1901. It, uh, in the, the, uh, in the local reality that collapsed was communism. Next year, it collapsed also. Communism collapsed in Yugoslavia, 1995 in Israel. It's Zionism, 2003. Uh, the Ba'athist uh, Saddam Hussein collapsed, and, and, and on and on and around the world, it's moving. So the question is what replaces it, and the answer is humanomics in general, which is the new east-west convergence model, and uh, the old model, giving to receive, is finished. It's collapsed, and the new model is receiving to give. Now, the two pa humanomics has two paradigms. Receiving to give is one of them, which is the cognitive behavioral science paradigm. The second is the integration of labor, the new economic paradigm. That's what's going to deliver the beef. Barack Obama is going to be elected, I believe, as president, and the DNC, the Democratic National Committee, will, will from the platform committee, uh, uh, table that the campaign will promise to make national a new national platform and policy for America to develop a world-class global technologic infrastructure based upon the new model of economics, which is the integration of labor. I'm the author of Humanomics and its two paradigms, and the particular the integration of labor. Now. Then the question is, what do you do uh, when you have that uh, national policy and a mandate in law to develop that global technology? You do, and what's the result? What's the purpose of it? How much will it cost? Oh, well, it's a supply side uh, project. It'll take four to five trillion, which will be amortized over 20 years, and 60% of the investment needed for it will come from the G9, from partners, and the rest of the 40% will come from America. Also, what is the result? Well, the American economy is at 14 trillion. It will triple. It will increase in the 20 years of the project. It will increase the gross domestic product from 14 trillion to 45 to 50 trillion. And interestingly, there's going to be a ch there's going to be a fundamental difference in the uh, in the in the makeup of the distribution of the pie. The great significant difference uh, is that the, the pie has grown grown larger over the years to 14 trillion but the workers and laborers share of the pie has the percentage of the pie has decreased that was exactly the case the year before the depression and let's pray that we don't bring with man's greed in America another depression I think we will be blessed to circumvent and sidestep it so humanomics in general is the solution the new economic paradigm in particular and it will triple uh, the gross domestic product. It will create, at the end of year one, it will be creating tens of thousands of domestic content, sustainable jobs distributed throughout all the 50 states, all over America, Puerto Rico, Guam, all over the world uh, as well, um, Hawaii. And it will uh, triple by years uh, 18 to 20 the uh, the gross domestic product, it will by years 11 to 12 have tripled the value of the currency. There will be no debt. It will eliminate the national debt. There will be no trade deficit. There will be no social security deficit. There will be full uh, national insurance free and there will be full education free even through college and the graduate study levels for all Americans. It's a win-win situation. This is not hyperbole and rosy-colored scenarios. This is the result of 45 years of basic research of science and technology. My life's work, the trilogy is 2,500 pages in its fifth draft. It'll be published on the web with a few hundred uh, graphics. Um, this is a win-win situation. So, Bunny, I've heard you very clearly. And I saw and heard... Uh, uh, a bit of tr it was troubling to me how emotional and choked up you were because of the fear of the uncertainty of the future. Well, keep faith and be strong. Uh, he's a good man. He will grow exponentially. He will deliver the results. And uh, he has courage. He has ethics and morality. And we bless him from Jerusalem. And we bless you in Waynesburg, Pennsylvania. And we thank you for listening. I'm Yeshua Yaakov, formerly Michael O'Donnell. Uh, from Jerusalem. Thank you for listening. Shalom.